Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, and I'm here to talk about, I'm just going to go buck wild on telekinesis and chi energy, what we can do. I believe that, now, now hold on, you know, everybody, th everybody thought that, you know, you moving things with your mind was impossible, but it's possible, and it's very real, telekinesis is real. What I believe that we can do, once we harness it, we get more healthier, or someone out of the blue just is able to be stronger with telekinesis is that we are able to create portals out of thin air in space right in our home right in the right in the space of our environment of our comfort of our environment we can create portals we can create or at least start off creating indentions in space and time the fabric of space and time similar to um, Similar to holding up a, a glass or like a jar and you look through it, you know how when you see to the other side, everything looks kind of warped and stuff. Well, that's how we're able to bend space and time to where like when you look at the dent, the dent or indention in space and time, you can create an indention in space and time where if you look at it, it looks like everything in the back is warped basically. Or at least something like that, like an indention in space and time that can lead to creating a portal or a black hole. A small black hole that we can use telekinesis to do these things what I also believe that we can do with telekinesis and she is that we can uh, manifest uh, material out of thin air we can manifest uh, we, we can start off manifesting just very small small things like dust particles or dirt particles or like uh, water driplets very small things and then when you become more uh, mastered of your telekinesis and chi pow powers or energy, you could you could actually manifest um, a, a working device if you want to, or or a bat or a baseball, whatever whatever your mind thinks of. You have to think of the intricacy of the of the object you're trying to create or the or the or the thing that you're trying to make out of thin air, and you can make it happen with telekinesis and chi energy. That's going above and beyond what I think anybody, um, even in the uh, ancient times of uh, utilizing chi energy and telekinesis. I think that maybe back in the ancient, ancient times, they, maybe they were able to do something similar to that. Manifesting things and uh, creating portals of dance or something, something, something like that in that realm of that nature. But I think that we're able to actually do that with telekinesis. Because you have to understand is that... Uh, space may look empty the space between you know the camera and me looks empty but actually it's it's made up of uh, uh, quarks you know what uh, string uh, string theory talks about quarks and all these other stuff and and space is never really empty it has a uh, small minute charges and there's quantum foam and it is too uh, subtle to notice or too hard to calculate sometimes with scientific tools that we have but what those things are able to manifest anything because if you think about it if you really think about it um, you know uh, how was the world uh, created how was the Big Bang manifested how did how did the uh, the, uh, the the Big Bang created was was one ultimate atom that had everything in it where did that come from you know that came from basically nowhere but it really didn't come from nowhere because it came from space that surrounded space that space that existed bef uh, before actual space was created you know that that's my theory I may be wrong maybe incorrect but of course there had to have been space to hold an object with the help to hold the object in you know sp space before space you know and there was time in that space I believe too but uh, um let's see not only that not only were we able to manifest objects out of thin air create portals and indentions in space or our space and time in our in our very own home at least an indention we could we we're we're also able to um, utilize telekinesis in combat in fighting physical fighting fists things like that uh, I just came up with something a theory that if you're able to use telekinesis to use that mental energy and transfer that mental energy of wanting to hurt the individual wanting to hurt him you know by transferring the mental energy of wanting to inflict harm and impact of harm on the individual you could utilize start from here 
and then you lift your arm and you transfer that mental energy of infliction onto that individual with more severity than would have than would have would have been with just basically just lifting your arm and just punching, you know, as normal fighters usually do, by utilizing um, uh, telekinesis, by transferring the telekinesis energy and and moving it in a certain subtle way to to you to um, put the mental thought of more infliction to add more add more strength to the punch to allow the person to be hurt by by a fist you know as we use the mind to move things with, with things with telekinesis and chi we're also able to utilize telekinesis to hurt the person now what I think is though is that before the person gets hit by the fist the space between the face and the fist that's where telekinesis energy is gonna really inflict the most harm it's going to affect them in the quantum level, the smallest quantum level. The energy from the from the brain, from the arm, is all going to be all, all floating around and, uh, and surrounding your fist when you hit the person. Even before you hit that person right there, that space, even before you hit him, he's going to feel it. He's going to feel the force of your punch right there in that space, right there. Right before you make connection. An actual connection, which isn't really connection, but it is a connection to us. And, and string theory and quantum mechanics, nothing's really touching. But before you make an actual connection within the space of an inch or half an inch or something, he's going to feel the telekinetic uh, uh, power of, of that fist, of you punching him in the face. And uh, it, you, you have to basically, you know, um, I think you have to basically just have to um, become one with the individual, know the individual as I've talked about in the videos, become with the individual, bond with the individual without really knowing him, or you can talk before the fight, you know, if you're a professional fighter, you're boxers, or UFC, they always discuss things and talk friendly, shake hands with them, pat him on the shoulder, get to know who he is, you know, and then you kind of mentally kind of, you know, you you put him and you close him in the, in the state of like, yeah, okay, I know who you are now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really hurt you now. You're, in, you're, 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 you're flipping the script. You're flipping the script from being nice and getting all the information about them and being friendly and flipping it around. And now you're utilizing all that kindness and anger to inflict harm. You're turning the tables on them. You're, it's a total different theory of how to fight. You're turning the tables. You're utilizing kindness to attack. You know because you're bonding with the person. You're utilizing kindness. And you, it's basically seen through the individual, you know. It's like how a sociopath would do when they try to like, uh, when they um, they know when 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 they make a friend with someone, the friend gives them their Facebook um, a password, or they give them their uh, bank account numbers and all stuff, and it says, you know, I can trust you. And the psychopath says, yeah, you can. And then later on, he uses that information from kindness, from letting the person open up to him, to then go to his Facebook. And 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 he'll do crazy stuff to his Facebook and go say crazy things to his friends and comment and go do crazy stuff and then use his password and his account information to steal his money or to use his, uh, to go buy things you know it's like that you be nice and then before you know it it's like, it's like I say I'm gonna get you but the thing is though is he's using it in a technical sound manner that's a professional manner which is in fighting professional fighting. You know that's how you and or or awake in regular life in the neighborhood of you get to know your friends or whatever. You know you, you can even do that with your friend if you don't get along with them. You know which I don't recommend. You already know your friend. You utilize all his comforts, all his inner thoughts and his feelings to flip the script and attack him with it. But I would recommend not doing that. But it's just a theory of how we can use telekinesis. It's not all positive. It's not the right direction. But it's just another wild way to utilize telekinesis, and another wild way to kind of go and you know just to stretch out and push the envelope of what we can do with our bodies and our minds and space and our energies and our and our powers that with that lie dormant within us, and so yeah we can create portals and indentions and space and time and whatever you want the portal to be you just have to think of the portal. You want the portal to transfer you back in time, whether you can transfer back in time. You want the portal to bring out something from, uh, bring a person from another time, walks into your room, well then you can do that. You can do anything you want. You can manifest any objects, bats, people, you can manifest uh, physical living things out of thin air. 
you could create your own devices, inventions out of thin air, but you have to utilize telekinesis and chi energy and you have to master it. It's going to take a long road. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to utilize telekinesis and I'm trying to understand it and I'm trying to understand chi so that uh, so that you can understand it and master it, create that foundation. Similar to how your brain already has mastered walking and breathing, subconscious breathing and, and thinking and your heart's beating. It's already created a foundation already. So now, since you have that foundation, it's already stuck in you. It's it's cemented forever within you. So now, now that you know how to walk, you don't need to walk anymore. It's already there. Now you could do backflips and and do uh, roundhouses, and you could jump over buildings and and do all types of crazy stuff. Once you create the foundation, understand baby steps, understand how to understand telekinesis and chi energy. Once you have that and you master it then you can create a foundation to where it will be stuck in you, cemented within you, fused within you and then you could do more crazier things more casually when you walk you could just lift your foot and kind of wiggle it around like you're dancing because you already have the foundation now you could casually mess around with your ability to walk because it's already a foundation set in you and then when you have a foundation set of telekinesis then you could just casually kind of mess around with it and just kind of lift things and do things and just do it casually and more relaxed you know and that's how I think counting kinesis is now trying to find a way to do it more to kind of hack how to get to master telekinesis that's my technique we're trying to hack and find gaps and cheats but also learn to be humble learn to be a good individual and harness it more properly but trying to get and jump over and get there more faster you know but as Ricky says it is I hope you guys like the video and that's my thoughts and I know that it is possible thank you